Day. Here he is, about to be sworn in as the most powerful person in the world, and he's shirtless. Uh, great figure, though, let me tell you that. Uh, how did the paparazzi get this close to the president elect? And it wasn't just him, it's the whole first family in swimsuits. Well, now we've got the answer. Joining us in the telephone is Frank Griffin. He is the co owner of the Bauer Griffin Agency, uh, who, uh, whose employee shot those photographs, and his, his is the agency that's selling them around the world. Frank, thanks for being with us. The uh, White House press corps had been told by the transition team that there would be no photos, that the beach time was off limits. How did your photographer get into that area to snap those photos? Well, first of all, he's not a member of the press corps. Are right. you getting the interference? Can you hear me okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I understand that he, you know, he's not a member of the press corps, but the White House press corps had been told no photos, and I'm just wondering how your photographer got in. He walked along the beach. He was uh, told not to cross a line in the sand, which was literally drawn by the uh, security detail. He didn't do that. He took the pictures and left. All right. Did, uh, did any of the security details seem to mind the fact that he was out there in a the beach? And we, we should preface this by saying that in Hawaii, all beaches are public, which means that, uh, you know, unless there's some sort of an emergency or extraordinary security situation, the, those beaches can't be closed down. And even if you're at a big ritzy hotel, anybody can still walk along those beaches. So did, did the, his security detail show any concern about the fact that your photographer was there? He's still alive, and I therefore assume that he was allowed to do it. Well, I must assume that the United States Secret he, he, Service... He was, he was, I mean, uh, do, we, do we need to be that flip about it? Could you just tell us whether or not he had any problems? Uh, no, otherwise he wouldn't have taken them. Right. He was he was literally drawn a line in the sand by the security detail. He was told he wasn't allowed to cross that line in the sand. That line was a, approximately a football field away from the uh, president-elect, mm -hmm. and he complied with those instructions. Right. Simple as that. Anybody walking along that, as did others, who perhaps didn't have the equipment that we had mm -hmm. or that our photographer had. Um, uh, also took pictures. Yeah, a question that some people are, are asking this morning, Frank, is there's a there's a photograph in there of, of the children as well, and uh, the 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 official White House uh, press corps has has sort of, you know, I guess, an, an unspoken agreement with the transition team, the Barack Obama people, to not take pictures of of the kids in in settings like that. Uh, why did your photographer take the pictures of the kids? Why are you selling pictures of the kids? Uh, there was no there were no requests made uh, and no, no permissions uh, granted or otherwise uh, to, to take or not take pictures of uh, any situation there. Right. As, as far as your agency is concerned, are the Obama children fair game in, in terms of taking photographs? And I don't know how you, why do you call them fair game? I think they were, weren't they at the convention and filmed and photographed? Yeah, but they, they were. That, were, they, the, were they considered, was that fair game from the point of view of the people that photographed them then? That was I, a, I don't like the term that fair was, game. It, 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 simply, it implies a hunt. That was a very public setting. Um, this was, I guess, obviously it was on a, a public beach, but it, the setting was supposed to be somewhat more private, and I guess out of respect for the president-elect and his family, some photographers have agreed not to take photographs some, of the children. Some photographers had agreed in return for which they get special the special uh, situations where they are allowed to take pictures and they comply with those with those uh, with those uh, uh, limitations I have to say at this stage that uh, they yes they are yes men they do what they're told right and uh, uh, that's that, that's my opinion right. I do feel that if the security detail had not wanted or, 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 or were, were in the position that they weren't mm -hmm. were to allow any other photographers or passers-by onlookers uh, then they would have, they could have closed the island down. Right. They could have closed the state down if they'd wanted to. Well, I think that would have been a little difficult. Um, is, is this an indication that uh, this new incoming president will see a lot more interest from some non-traditional sources? Uh, you know, the, 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 the main, I guess, coverage of presidents has always been the White House press corps. A lot of local press do it. There is, there is some... Uh, coverage of the president from outside agencies, but is this an indication that the, the, the paparazzi really will be interested in getting uh, photos of the president-elect uh, or president when he becomes uh, uh, the uh, 44th president of the United States? Oh, well, it depends. You, you, you're drawing a classification between pa paparazzi and traditional press. It, it, what, can you explain that difference? Well, if I remember rightly, when he was on vacation in Hawaii, there were shots taken by a photographer or photographers mm -hmm. of him body surfing. I think he was even wearing the same uh, shorts or similar color shorts. Is there, is there a big difference, do you think? Well, you know, paparazzi, is, as, as you know, uh, 
typically will be taking pictures of celebrities. Um, some of them, um, I, I guess, do it in a more traditional way than others. I'm just wondering if there will be more interest by uh, agencies that, that tend to deal in celebrity than uh, traditional news agencies. Do you think Barack Obama is not a celebrity? Oh, I absolutely think he's a celebrity. Then, there you go. The then, I, States, then I think. Then I think that paparazzi. They only do. They only. They, uh, I know that. Uh, I know that um, Fellini coined the phrase, but paparazzi are photojournalists. They just happen to specialize in celebrity. Mm -hmm. were, were the but they are the last of the true photojournalists because very often they don't just do what they're told. Were the photos worth a lot of money to your agency? No. 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 Well. They're, they're certainly not as much as, uh, say, Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie would be in right. the same circumstances. Okay. Frank Griffin, uh, thanks for being with us this morning. Good to talk to you. My pleasure. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. I think Mr. Griffin had a chip on his shoulder. <laughs> Whew. <laughs> I enjoyed that, actually. Um, did you think so? He just... He didn't want you to call him paparazzi. He didn't want you to call his photographers anything wrong. Well, I mean, like, I don't, this I don't, is normal. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to really discuss this when he's not involved in the conversation. He obviously has his point of view, and that's his point of view, and that's his take on things. And others might have a different take. So we'll see how this all works out in the wash. Yes, we.